gutted about the result, if I'm totally honest. Uh, I think for 60 minutes, probably 65 minutes, I thought Notts County had a lot of possession. I thought we had probably the better chances, if I'm honest. Um, you know, we had a, an offside goal that wasn't offside, ruled out. Uh, and we had, a, we had a penalty saved. Um, I'm trying to be as positive as I can. I mean, we've just lost a football match, a local derby, which I'm, I'm absolutely seething about and gutted about. But you know, the, the team that finished, you know, the last 20 minutes, 25 minutes, um, you know, was we, we, had, we had to give players players a run out. Um, and if I'm honest, not, not, not County, then you know, the, their experience and, and their league state has showed. So, um, but I thought for 65 minutes, I thought. I thought, I thought we did we did we did okay. Notts County, they're a League One side. They certainly stretch you tonight. Would that be fair to say? I think they had a lot of possession. We, we, we knew they was going to have a lot of possession, but uh, you know we we, uh, we came off in this in the in the first half. And apart from Mazza picking the ball out, then he's not had a save to make. You know we we've had a penalty save, scored a goal, and had, I think a person perfectly good goal disallowed in terms of the offside. Um, you know I think I think there's a lot of good things for for 60 minutes tonight. Uh, I think I think our shape was better. I think. Uh, you know the lads' fitness uh, is getting a lot better, um, and I think we 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 we're slowly slowly getting there. You know we, we've still got Reece Day, Paul Bowler to come back, um, but like I say, I think there's a lot a lot of positives tonight. Do you start looking at one or two partnerships tonight? We take, for example, your front pairing to start with Louis Briscoe and Paul Connor. Well, I did. I mean, if you notice, I, I started with, uh, with with Briss and, and, and Cons, but after about ten minutes, uh, put Briss out on the out on the out on the right and, and put Meekle through the middle. You know, Lyndon, if I'm honest, um, was absolutely superb throughout throughout the game. And I think uh, I think the kid's got a like I've said before, he's got a bright future in the game. Uh, I think it was a handful, whether he was out wide or whether he was down the middle. You know, but once again, I thought there were some very good performances. I thought Riley came in. Riley's not played a game yet. Centre half, shoulders up. Um, I think uh, I, th I think the left back came in. It's just, it's just done, done fabulous. Um, I think I think we looked at a, a quite a cohesive unit for, for, for 50, 60 minutes tonight. Uh, you know, and th this is only our second second game of the, you know pre-season. So against a, a League One outfit, you know, a full strength League One outfit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was. Uh, I'm, I'm gutted that we've lost the game. Good because um, you know there's rivalry between the fans. There's rivalry because we, it's a local derby. But I think. Uh, you know, I, I've got to set my sights on, on, on the first league game of the season, and I think, you know, I think there's a lot of good things came out of tonight's game. On Lyndon Meikle, the uh, the Ian Greaves stand certainly sat up and noticed tonight. A potential player there. I think he's excellent. You know, I've said, you know, to be fair to, to, to Lee Stevenson came on, but we had to play Stephen uh, in a, Steve in an unfamiliar role when he came on because of the shape. Um, but you know, we, we brought some good footballers in this side. You know, uh, you know, and I think I think the more they they, they kind of gel. Um, I think I think the, the, the more that the crowd are going to take to people like Lyndon. Let's look to the next game now, Doncaster Rovers. Before we get to that, any more transfer news? This club's been heavily linked with a former Notts County player, John Thompson. Can you tell us any more about that? Well, I mean, we, we spoke to well, I've spoke to two or three players over the uh, over the last 24, 48 hours. Uh, we've tried to bring a, uh, a centre forward into the club, uh, you know, renowned goal scorer. Um, you know, it, it's no secret that we've been looking to strengthen, you know, the back. Um, you know, we still wait to hear from you know from from, from about three or four parties in, in terms of strengthening the squad. You know, it's you can see tonight it's apparent that you know if, if we get a first eleven out there, that that's you know I, I think we're, we're, we're going to be quite strong. It's it's just about the the squad depth now um, and bringing sort of say better players in that are going to affect that first eleven. Doncaster Rovers, another step up from Notts County. Yeah, it's going to be another tough one. Um, it's another one where you know I said before that pre-season started. Um, you know, Pre-season is all about learning uh, about about my players and, and, and about my squad. And like I say, I, I, you know, for, for 60 minutes, you know, I, I don't think uh, I don't think any support on the ground could could, could question our work ethic, um, our desire levels. Um, and if I'm honest, like I say, you talk about chances created. Um, you know, I don't think Paul Connor was off was, was offside for, for the goal. Um, we missed it. Um, penalty was, was, was very sloppy um, and I, I thought we looked quite short whereas on the other end like I say, Maz has not had a shot save for, for, you know apart from picking the ball out for, for, for 45 minutes so I, I just think I think we, we, we're building in the right way um, I'm hoping the supporters understand that you know that this group of players are going to work hard and, uh, and we're going to try and create something you know realistically we, we was up against a, a full strength um, division one outfit that day, a very good one you know, with a very good manager um, you know that I think will be there or thereabouts in their league this season. You know, and having been gutted, you know, when the game finished, I mean, you know, we, we got beat 2-1. Um, you know, I've just set the lads in there. You know, I was quite chuffed with the performance, but gutted with the result, and we, we need to start and rectify that. Um, but 
a lot of positive things come out in 60 minutes. Let's finish with Paul Cox, your first outing here as uh, Mansfield Town Manager. Enjoy it. Aside from the results in terms of the atmosphere, the fans, your yeah. first look at Field Mill, arguably. I, I think, I, you know, I felt the warmth of I was coming off the pitch, you know, with the supporters. Um, a lot of the supporters said a lot of nice things to me. Um, if I'm honest, I was gutted coming off the pitch. You know, people have to understand I, I really hate losing. Um, but, you know, the supporters warm, you know, we're warm and, 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 you know, that's all I want. You know, I've said it right along. If the supporters understand that these lads are working hard, um, sorry that the players are working hard, then. Uh, that's what really matters to me and like I say I came off and, and there's some really nice things said so uh, yeah we, we you know we're at the beginning of a, of a journey you know and really really early on in the journey so uh, we, we just need to, to take it one step at a time now. Lindell, Linden, first run out at Field Mill, a defeat unfortunately but a great performance from yourself you must be pleased. Yeah I am, um, it's just good to get on a pitch on Field Mill right, again but um, yeah to play with all the boys and that's a uh, yeah it was, good. it was a good performance from uh, Tuesday so but obviously we didn't win so you know we'll have to move on to the next game as a run out for yourself personally uh, the longest you've played this season so far yeah it is you know like well nearly a full 90 uh it's just building my confidence really building my fitness and that so i mean i've played about 30 minutes last game so yeah it's good to get a, a long run um i guess that's kind of as well so they'll give us um, a good run out so yeah the, the gaffer says he's very disappointed with the uh, the result tonight is that the is that the feeling reflected in the changing room. Yeah, like obviously like who who likes to like lose a game, you know what I mean? Everyone's disappointed, but end of the day it's friendlies, that's what they're there for to like get us fit. It's the main thing, you know what I mean? Get us all confident on the ball, get every player touches on the ball and that, you know, playing against like teams from higher league just to see what it's like and you know what I mean they'll work us harder, you know what I mean? So yeah, it's not all about just the result, it's all about like self um, fitness and that, you know what I mean, and just getting touches on the ball. Let's talk about yourself now. You started out wide at the beginning of the game, then yeah. you played through the middle for the majority of the rest of the game. I think you went back out wide at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where's your preferred position? Preferred, um, either up front or on the left. So yeah, I'd like put me right wing. Which like, I don't mind. I can play any side really. But like last season, I played the um, whole season up front. So obviously, I'm not really used to it. So you just chuck me up there. And then just put and just put me out on a, on the left where I prefer it if I'm playing on the wing. So yeah, and yeah, I enjoyed it today. The gaffer says he's uh, and as I'm sure you know, having worked with him in the past, he's looking to form a side that can play in a variety of formations. Yeah. Are you the sort of player that relishes on on maybe that sort of structure? Well, I might be playing here one week. I might be playing in a different yeah, position well, another week. Well, yeah, that's it. I like I like a bit of variation. Like I mean, there's been times when I was at Eastwood before, like not last season, season before. Um, I was on the wing like all season, and it just got a bit like just, just like same old, just doing the same thing, just running the line and that, and it just sets in, you know what I mean? And it's just good to like be put on the other side or up front, and like just keeps ticking over, you know what I mean? And what about Mansfield Town as a club? You've moved from Eastwood, Division yeah. Blow. This is your biggest club so far, and you're yeah, relishing the prospect. Yeah, it's definitely. That's my first time full time. So I mean. Even just like, my, like it's my second, well, end of my second week, yeah. and that, and yeah, it's great. Like not having to go to work and go to football after, you know, it's like, it's a great feeling and that. So, so I can put on like my all into football and that. So, yeah, and it's a great club and that, you know. So, I mean, there's been loads of players who've been there before, like JD. He's before. Um, he told me loads of stuff about the Stags and that, and saying yeah, it's going to be a good place for you and that. Um, Kurt Shaw, same thing. So yeah, it's yeah, I'm I'm definitely enjoying it.